Hello there. This is the family doctor. Drugstore. Yeah, this is Pete May. Oh, hello there, Miss Adams. Yeah, he's here. Just came in. Doc Adams, your wife's on the phone for you. Oh, oh thanks, Pete. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hello, Lou. No, I won't forget. I, I've got a note in my medicine bag, one in my small change pocket, and one inside my hat. All right, dear. I, I won't forget. Goodbye. Mrs. Adams thinks I'll always forget everything she asks me to do for her. Of course, I do. Just once in a while, when I have something on my mind, like an operation or something. Oh, what was it she wanted this time? <laughs> Let me see. Where's that note I left my hat? What hat, Doc? Uh, hmm? <laughs> what? Well, gosh, to I almost did it over to the Rankins. <laughs> you, you maybe got something on your mind this time, Doc, but it sure ain't your hat. <laughs> Wait, now, here's another one to lose notes. Let's see. Note interest. <laughs> She's right, as usual. I, I've got to pay my interest at the bank today. Or Sam Windsor might foreclose on me. <laughs> Say, if you wait a sec till I get my apron off, I'll run over to the bank with you. Got to get my deposit in for closing time. Uh, go ahead, I'll wait. Say, uh, Pete, what do you do with your customers while you're gone like this? Oh, just let them wait. I, all it says is how the ones that don't wait just probably want a postage stamp. Well, here I am. Let's go, Doc. Wait till I lock her up tight as a drum. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. You know, Pete, well... Oh, well, hey. This isn't any of my business. What's sticking in your craw, Doc? Well, uh, <clears throat> it just appears to me that you'd be giving the folks of Cedarton a, a lot better service if you had some bright youngster to help you at the soda fountain and make your deliveries for you and sort of help out all around. Oh, but here's a slide had some sort of highfalutin idea about how much it was worth or getting off Saturday afternoons or something. I don't know what's got into the younger generation. Oh, gosh, to Friday, Pete, there's nothing the matter with the younger generation. <laughs> that just goes to show that you're getting on in years when you talk like that. Well, I don't know, but it sure seems like to me that there's a lot more wrongdoing by young folks nowadays than there was when I was a shaver. Well, maybe there is, but that's your fault. Huh? My fault. And mine. If there's anything wrong with the world these young folks were born into, it's you and me that made it that way, not the young folks. Yeah, well... <laughs> Here, here we are at the bank. All right, Pete. We'll talk about that subject some more sometime. Oh, sure, Doc. Sure thing you know. <laughs> well, so long. Hello there, Doc. I bet I'll know what you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess you do, Sam. But you must have closed court early today. Well, there wasn't anything on the calendar, so I had to kind of recess until tomorrow. Come on over to my desk, and I'll make you out a receipt. 
Well, there must be strangers in Cedarton. Why? Well, nobody but you owns an automobile that'll go that fast, Sam. <laughs> Doc, you're all right. right. Don't nobody move. Uh, Great uh, Godfrey uh, Bandit. 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 Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, nobody got hurt that I've heard of, and I guess I'd have heard. <laughs> well, I'm just cleaning up a few things, and then I'll be right home. All right, honey, you go on to bed then. Good night. Oh, hello there. Something I can do for you? Yeah. Yeah. You can... Oh, gosh, Javardi, where's my spirit of ammonia? Yeah. Yeah, now, young fellow, you take a whiff of this. Uh, a little more. Yeah, you can... You can... Say, where am I? Who are you? Well, uh, I'm Dr. Adams. Who are you? Oh, yeah. I remember. I've got something wrong with my leg. Well, let's take a look at it. Mm, young fella, well, you've been shot. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Well, let's get you fixed up. Yes, sir. What did you say your name was? I didn't say. Oh, that's right, you didn't. Of course, I've got to have it for my records. Yeah? Well, just put me down as Johnny Jones. Johnny Jones, eh? There's certainly a lot of you Joneses in the world. Where'd you all come from, oh. eh? Oh, this will hurt a bit, oh. all right. Can't help it. Sorry. There. Uh. Hmm, how'd you get this, Johnny? Me? I was hunting. Hunting, huh? Yeah. I didn't know there was any elephants around here. Elephants? Must have been pretty big game you were hunting. This is a bullet from a forty-five automatic pistol. Yeah? Well, let's quit talking about it and get me out of here. Oh, I'm hurrying as fast as I can, youngster. I know, youngster. Oh, no? No, I guess you're not. By the way, I need this for my records, too. How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen? Yeah. Of course, if you were, if you were hunting today, you didn't hear about the... Uh, Bank robbery in Cedarton this afternoon. Yeah? Yeah. Nobody harmed, though. Leastwise, none of the Cedarton folks. Now, this is going to hurt quite a bit. I've got to be sure that wound's sterile. <laughs> Say, now, gosh, to Friday, that couldn't have hurt that much. All right. You've got me. I was with them. I was their lookout. Go ahead. Turn me in. Turn you in? Oh, you won't have to go to bed. That's just a flesh wound. You, uh, you got a place to stay tonight? Stay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I've got a place to stay. Oh, well, that's fine. Now, good night. How much do I owe you? Oh, we've just called this an emergency. Good night, Johnny. Good night, Doc. Thanks. Hello. S say, hey, connect me with Bill Benson down to the police, will you? Thanks, yeah. Yeah, right away. Hello, Chief. This is Dr. Adams. Yeah, say, Chief, I think maybe if you get out on Maple Street right now, you'll pick up a young fella that might know something about that hold-up this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, he just... He just hello? Hello? Hmm. Gosh, to Friday, I hope I'm doing right. Hey, Doc, what'd you want me to come up to court for? Be quiet, Pete. Judge Windsor's just about to open court. Well, all right, but I'd like to know what it's all about. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. General session of the Court of Peace to Cedar Township now in order. Uh, Judge Samuel Windsor presiding. Quiet. What's the first case? Well, first and only case is the People versus Jones. Uh, Johnny Jones, be exact. Who's the complainant? State, Your Honor. Complaints on your desk here. Oh. Uh, who's the first witness? Well, the first and only witness is Dr. Grant Adams. Dr. Adams? 
Take the stand, please. Raise your right hand. You swear in the cause now, hear and tell the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. I uh, do. Hmm. Dr. Adams, you treated a young man for a gunshot wound several nights ago, didn't you? Yes, I did. Did he admit to you how he was wounded? Yes, he did. He said he'd been hunting. Did he say anything about having participated in any hold-up or robbery or anything of the sort? Any committing of a felony? No, sir. He didn't admit anything of the sort. Is that all the testimony you have to offer? Yes, I guess that's all. Uh, That's all, Dr. Adams. Thank you. Is there any other witness to appear in this case? <clears throat> case dismissed for lack of sufficient evidence. Court for recess till noon tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Uh, I'd like to see uh, the former prisoner and the witness in my chambers at once. You better come in too, Pete May. That'll be all for now. Come on, Pete, quick. Well, come on, the... quit asking questions. Come on, Doc. Come in, Pete. Shut the door. Well, Doc, have you got anything more to say? Oh, well, I've got a little story I'd like to tell. Seems like about 19 or 20 years ago, I was called over to Dunlap County. A young wife was just about to to have a baby. Her name was Kemp, Martha Kemp. And her father's name was Ben. It was a fine youngster. They named him Johnny. I haven't heard about this little family for about five years, but I I did hear then that the mother had died and the young father was killed in a landslide when he was working some sort of mine over near Dunlap. Nobody seemed to know anything about the youngster except he'd gone to the city. Funny how young folks change, isn't it? Well, I, I guess that's all. Doc, is that the truth? That's the truth, Johnny. How'd you know? Here's your wallet, Johnny. You dropped it when you fell into my office a few nights ago. Gee, thanks. Say, uh, by the way, Pete, uh, you were telling me you were thinking of hiring some bright youngster to work in your store, weren't you? That's right, Doc. Well, what do you think of Johnny here? I think he'd be first rate. Yeah, (laughs) I think so, too. Uh, Say, Sam, I never did get that receipt for my interest. Uh, We had a sort of an interruption the other day. Uh, Can you give it to me now? Sure, Doc. Come along. Gee, Pete, ain't he swell? Yeah, Johnny, he... he's swell. is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. bye <laughs>